In a world teetering on the edge of a geopolitical abyss, a seismic shift is underway. As Western nations scramble to maintain their grip on global power, a new alliance is rising from the shadows. BRICS Plus. From October 22nd to 24, in the heart of Tatarstan, Russian President Vladimir Putin hosted a historic summit, uniting the founding members of BRICS with five new powerhouses, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. This gathering is not just a meeting. It's a bold declaration that the era of Western dominance is waning and a new world order is emerging. The world is changing and fast. Once the G7 ruled the global economic stage, boasting 45.5% of global GDP in 1992, while BRICS was a mere 16.7%. Today, the narrative has flipped. BRICS now accounts for 37.4% of global GDP, dwarfing the G7's 29.3%. As Putin himself stated, the gap is widening and this trend will continue. But what does this mean for the established order? Are we witnessing the dawn of a new global hierarchy? Or is this merely a fleeting trend? BRICS was conceived as a geopolitical counterweight to the West, birthed from the ashes of the 2008 financial crisis. While the G20 emerged as a new forum for cooperation, its attempts to include rising economies were met with skepticism. BRICS, on the other hand, is a response to the frustrations of the global South, a coalition formed to reshape a system that many see as outdated and fundamentally unfair. This organization was not born in a boardroom, but rather in the crucible of economic turbulence. The G7's attempts to stabilize the world economy often felt more like a stranglehold, leading emerging nations to seek alternatives. As BRICS expands, it is challenging the established G7 and G20 dynamics, presenting a united front of nations determined to rewrite the rules of international governance. The expansion of BRICS signals a dramatic power shift on the world stage. With the recent inclusion of energy-rich nations like Saudi Arabia and Iran, BRICS Plus stands poised to wield unprecedented influence over global energy markets. Together, these nations account for nearly 43% of crude oil production and 32% of natural gas output. This is not just a coalition, it's a formidable alliance that could rival OPEC itself. As they strategize, the implications for the G7 are profound. Can they adapt? or will they find themselves outmaneuvered in the arena of global economics? Increasing trade between BRICS nations is also a vital strategy to reduce reliance on Western business, enabling these countries to forge stronger economic ties and bolster their self-sufficiency. This shift towards intra-BRICS trade not only enhances economic resilience, but also creates a united front against the pressures of Western influence. What happens next? The implications of BRICS plus extend beyond economics. They reach into the very fabric of global governance. The G20 has long served as a platform for addressing global issues, but BRICS Plus threatens to divide it further. With countries like India, Brazil, and South Africa holding membership in both groups, we could see a tug of war that complicates consensus building. Will BRICS Plus create a unified bloc, or will it lead to fragmentation and increased tensions within the G20? Nations are not monolithic entities. They are multifaceted, with overlapping identities and interests. India, for instance, seeks to champion the global South while maintaining relations with the West. The question looms, how will these nations navigate their dual memberships? Can they work together to address pressing global issues? Or will they descend into chaos locked in an endless cycle of competition? Moreover, BRICS countries are playing an increasing role in global security. As they come together, their collective influence extends beyond economics, to address international security concerns. Whether it's through joint military exercises or collaborative efforts to combat terrorism, BRICS Plus is positioning itself as a vital player in the global security landscape, further solidifying its relevance on the world stage. BRICS is not just a club of emerging economies, it's a challenge to the status quo. With initiatives like an independent payment system and an AI governance framework, BRICS Plus aims to reshape the landscape of international relations. They are pushing for de-dollarization, diminishing the impact of Western sanctions, and asserting their right to govern their own affairs without interference. But the stakes are high. As the balance of power shifts, the question remains, will the G7 adapt to this new reality, or will they double down on their antiquated approach, risking further isolation? Will they engage with BRICS Plus constructively, or will the tension escalate? leading to a fractured world order. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, one thing is clear, the world is watching. BRICS Plus is not merely a reaction to the G7, it's a clarion call for a more equitable global system. 
The question isn't whether this new order will emerge, but rather how it will reshape our lives in the future of international relations. Are we ready to embrace this change, or will we cling to a crumbling past? The future is unfolding before our eyes. Will you be a part of it?